So, um, I was attempting to go into uh, someone's game to gift them something, as I promised in my video, but I couldn't see their camp listed. Uh, they were on Xbox, I'm on PlayStation Network, but that's no problem because I have cross-platform play, but when I was scrolling down, I couldn't actually see my list of cross-platform play friends underneath my PlayStation Network friends, and uh, I figured, okay, it's probably just a bug. This game is full of them, we're not denying that. It's probably the buggiest game that I've ever seen. So I figured that I would just quick unlink my um, PlayStation Network from my Microsoft account and relink it to kind of give it a refresher to see if that would fix things. And when I attempted to relink my account, this happened. So according to them, my Microsoft account is already linked to my PlayStation Network account even though I just unlinked it. So now, as a result of this, I can't play online. I can't gift anyone anything, and I can't play with my girlfriend anymore. This is just... This game is full of so many bugs. We have bugs that uh, they say that they've fixed, but it actually creates other problems associated with it bugs that they say that they've fixed but actually weren't fixed at all and there's quite a few of them that uh, I can attest to like one-shotting bosses as soon as they spawn in on the very first frame or um, things like a uh, dynamo and torment quiver stuff like that and then there's just stuff that Mojang does not address like for months and months and months and others that they have not fixed at all this is just this one though it takes the cake the amount of unprofessionalism with this, the amount of just ineptitude with letting things go by just for this long, just letting things continue to cause problems, especially something on this scale where it affects your ability to play with other people, just... Mojang, fix your goddamned game. Do you guys even care? I mean, I know that you're adding stuff with updates, things that were kind of paid for in the past, but now that you're adding stuff with updates, but we really have been crying out for a fix. Things like also increasing the inventory space because I'm at 299 of 300 items. I cannot pick up a, third, uh, a 300th item because if I do and a piece of gear drops in any area, I can't fight there because the attack button and the item pickup button are the same and instead of swinging, my character will try to pick up an item that I can't pick up. So with that inventory limit, I've had to get rid of so many ranged weapons because I don't have room for like the melee weapons that I wanted to use and with constant reskins being uh, added with every seasonal update and things like that and possibly new stuff in the future, I can't enjoy them because I don't have any room anymore. Just stuff like that. But this one is a really big issue because it's affected, I've seen, a lot of people. As soon as you unlink your account, that is like a death sentence for your account because you cannot relink it and they have done nothing about this. They have done nothing about so many other issues too. I just don't get why they don't care. They are a multi-billion dollar, at least million dollar, but I'm pretty sure billion dollar company because they are in charge of pretty much the largest game, you know, Minecraft, um, on the planet. They certainly can deal with this issue. Uh, and other big issues, but I've seen that this was an ongoing issue for a long time, even on original Minecraft, where if you unlinked your Microsoft account from whatever device you were playing it on, you couldn't relink it, and I have no idea why they do this. But this is why I have animosity towards the game. Even though it's a fun game to play, it's because the developers just... There is so much that could be done to help improve the gameplay, like say not having nine plus geomancers trapping you from off screen where you can't even see them to engage them. Things like spiders and witches and blastlings and stuff hurling their shots after they're dead. There's so many other things and issues that are with this game, but this one just, this one really tilted me because this just ruined my ability to connect with other people and it's because of an issue that they have to know about because this has been on bug reports with um, the game and with Minecraft, like the OG Minecraft, and nothing has been done about it. I have no idea if anything's going to be done. That's why I was making a video about this, because I mentioned it in the Discord server, but you can't at a developer or message them directly, even though this is a huge issue that I think is worth messaging them about, because this is just ridiculous. This is just so unprofessional. I just, I cannot believe how many things slip through, because with Apocalypse Plus 20 getting through, with levitation shot getting through, with allowing enemies to have stunning through raid banner modifiers, things like that, you can tell that things have not been tested. 
or like luck of the sea if they'd done a little bit of testing with ancient hunts they would have seen how it was causing uh unique gilded items to appear that were actually just rares with the gilded tag or like say unique gilded thief armor instead of it being spider armor or then having gilded uniques dropping as just regular uniques this is just like stuff like that you can tell they do not play test that because if you did a little bit of testing it's really easy to find that and with things like um uh, how they added invisible mobs with an update without telling us that was secret that was very shady or with them nerfing void strikes secretly in an update like this most recent update that was very shady it also seems like uh saw blades got a little bit of a nerf at least mechanized saw blade got a nerf and broken saw blade got a bit of a buff so now both have the same exact potential um, I don't know if I would say it's a nerf exactly, but they changed how it worked, and they didn't mention that. They added critical hit, committed, and fire aspect to range mobs, and they didn't tell anyone about that. I just don't know why they're not transparent, and why they just... It's really hard to talk to them about these things, and I'm just disgusted. So, I don't know what's gonna go on from here on out. I'm not sure if I'm going to really be bothering with Minecraft Dungeons uploads, since I can't connect with anyone to either play or trade with them because of this bug that should not be a thing. Anyway, that's all I have for now. Till whenever next time is. So after I finished recording that little mini rant of mine, I decided to take matters into my own hands, because I couldn't trust Mahjong to fix this, and I went and I made myself a completely new Microsoft account. So. As of now, I am able to play online, I'm able to connect with people and give things to them and do all of that stuff. If you want to know more about that, you can check out my Discord in the description below just to find out details about what my new Microsoft account ID is so that you can re-add me if I've added you or so that you know which uh, account to add to connect with me for getting a gift. However, even though I was able to fix it, what I said in this video still stands about my feelings towards Mahjong and the game in general, despite the fact that I find it fun. They just... the lack of quality control, the lack of care, the lack of testing, the lack of just being on top of things when there's issues like this and others. It's just very sloppy, it's very unprofessional, and it has a lot of people upset. Anyway, to those of you who've made it this far into the video and didn't click off halfway through my rant, I will be doing a No Limit giveaway the next 24 hours from the moment that this video goes up until the next one publishes tomorrow, you can find and comment on any of my previous Minecraft Dungeons videos that has a piece of gear that you want and claim it. You are still limited to only one item per person, but now it's not limited to three claims per item. If the item has been changed, I will give you the updated version, and if it's something that's no longer in my inventory, I will let you know so that you can choose something else. This is something that I will be doing on random days, depending on my schedule and my mood and announcing it at the end of my non-runs or boss fight videos, just to see who's watching and paying attention to the end of my videos. Again though, it is limited to one item per person, so choose wisely.